break up. Now every day I wake up, somebody got a problem with I'm your guys, Joe Sexton here from Fat Loss Master Chef. So we're back making food that not only tastes and look amazing, but also perfect for losing weight, losing body fat, toning up, and feeling amazing as well. Because when we're doing diet, it's easy to forget how actually good we feel when we eat clean. It's one of them things where all you gotta do is look on any social network and sit on a Monday morning and realize people's bad diets over the weekend affects them on the Monday morning. They feel down, they feel they've got no energy. And that's the thing, that's normally diet related. So we get that diet right, we'll start to feel amazing and the best benefit as well, we'll start looking amazing as well. So today we're making something that I was gonna hold back from your cookbook, but instead of that I've decided that it's one of my favorite recipes I wanted to use to have it now. It's spicy chicken goujons. One of the things that I always crave when I'm dieting is like things like chicken nuggets, like junk food I used to have as a kid. This is the perfect alternative. So the trick is we're gonna use this breadcrumbs, we're gonna use ground almonds, so it's low in carbs. Excellent and essential fats and perfect for losing weight. So we're gonna be you need you need ground a pack of ground almonds, you need some paprika, you need some cayenne chili pepper, you need salt, pepper, uh, some chicken strips, and we need two eggs as well beaten, and that's gonna be you help the breadcrumbs stick on. So once you go all that, I'll see you back here soon. And it's time to make some chicken goujons. Right, so now it's time to make these chicken goujons. Right, so what I've got is a pack of ground almonds. Also, I've got to remember guys, if you've got a nut allergy, obviously ground almonds are nuts. You'll eat it, your head will explode, you'll die, and that's what we don't want that. So if you've got a nut allergy, this recipe isn't for you. So we need a pack of ground almonds. We're gonna go with two and a half tablespoons of, a uh, teaspoon, sorry, of paprika, and half a teaspoon of cayenne chili pepper. Remember that if you want a little bit spicy, throw a little bit more spices in. We're also gonna get some salt and pepper, but I've basically got the full mixture there. We've also got some chicken breasts, which I've cut up into goujon shapes, and like basically just strips. And I've got two eggs beaten in there as well. As you can tell as well, I've got a nice little love heart uh, plate for the chicken. So what I'm gonna do is get a chicken strip. I'm gonna throw it in the egg mixture. This way we get our hands messy. So I'm gonna throw it in there. I've washed my hands beforehand as well. So we're gonna throw it in the egg mixture, drain some of it off, and I'm just gonna throw it in the bowl for the ground almonds. All you're gonna do is literally turn the uh, chicken around and pat all the mixture on. Want as much, much of the mixture as possible. So once that's done, we're gonna have a, a chicken strip that's literally covered in the mixture, and we're gonna throw it on a plate to rest. I've got loads here, guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'll do one more, show you, it's literally this simple. We're gonna make sure the uh, chicken's covered in egg, let it drain off a little bit, throw it in that mixture, this is where our hands start to get st uh, stuck with all the breadcrumbs, Literally make sure all the, uh, the, we need as much breadcrumbs on as possible. Make sure it's patted on, make sure it's fully covered. And then we're gonna let that set. As you can see, my hands are mine. So, I've got a full, uh, I've got about two chicken breasts here, which I'm gonna get coated now. Once that's done, I'll show you we're gonna fry it off and then we're gonna throw it in the uh, oven as well. So, it should take me a couple of minutes. So once that's, once you've done that as well, it's time to get cooking, it's time to fry them goujons off and then it's time to eat. So I'll see you soon. Right, so I've got a plate full of chicken goujons uh, all breaded and ready to go. What I've done is I've heated up a high, a, a hot pan. Uh, it's fairly hot and I've melted down some coconut oil. As I've said before, coconut oil's got a much higher burning point and it's really good essential fat. So I will always use uh, coconut oil over things like olive oil. So I'm melting down some uh, coconut oil on a hot pan. And what I've done as well, I've also preheated the oven for around about gas mark six. Uh, and I've got a baking tray ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown the goujons off either side for about three or four minutes. Until they're brown, you'll be able to tell when they're ready. So about three or four minutes either side. Then we're gonna put them on an oven tray. We're gonna throw them in the oven for around about 15 to 20 minutes until they're cooked. We can have these with sweet potatoes. You can have these on salad. You can have these as a snack today. I'm just having them as a snack. Uh, what we're gonna do once in the oven as well, we're gonna throw in a normal workout. We're gonna throw in like a home workout as well. That is gonna do that. I'll help these melt some body fat. Because remember, diet's important, but we need to get fit and healthy as well, and exercise is just as good for that. So what I'm gonna do, the pan's hot now. You wanna be touching these as, li as little as possible. So I'm literally gonna throw these in the pan with coconut oil. I think I've got too many for the pan now, so I'm gonna make two batches. So I'm gonna throw until the pan's full. And now what I'm gonna do is let them brown off either side for around about uh, three or four minutes each side. Once they're done, it's time to throw them in the oven, time to cook, and then it's time to work out. So once I've done that, I'll, I'll show you at the end how they should be looking before we throw them in the oven. So I'll see you in about five or six minutes. Right, so I've fried the uh, goujons off either side. 
the camera set up for the workout, so I'm just going to bring it all back to use. And as you can see, the goujons are browned off nicely. So, gas mark six, the oven's preheated. I'm going to throw them in, in the middle. And I'm going to heat them up for round, I'm going to cook them for around about 15 to 20 minutes. And now it's time to work out. Like I always say guys, I never ever advise to do this in the kitchen because what will happen you start working out, the pot pan will flip up, hit in the face, your face will be red, your face will be burnt, and the only time I want your face to be red is when we're sweating because we're working out so hard. So that's how hard I want this to work. So we're going to go for warm-ups, so we're going to go rotations as usual, then we're going to go for some hip rotations coming around, and then we're going to activate those glutes. So we're going to bring our shoulder blades, we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together, and we're going to squeeze the muscles on our bum together as well. So we're going to squeeze our glutes. Hold for 10 seconds and then relax for 10. They're the three things I want you to do before the workout. So today we're all going to be working the bum and the legs. We're going to do a reverse lunge and we're going to add your core muscles in and your hip flexors as well. So, reverse lunge is like this. So, we'll stand up, we'll drop that back leg back, we'll drop that back knee to the floor, and then we'll come up for a knee drive. And then we'll come back into that knee drive, a back knee to the floor, and then come up. We're going to go 30 seconds right leg, 30 seconds rest. And then we're going to go 30 seconds left leg. So, same again, we we'll step back. All we we'll do is drop that back knee to the floor, come up with that knee drive, again step back. Some people, if you haven't got that good balance, what you're going to do is step back, out that knee drive, plant that foot on the floor again, step back, out that knee drive, plant that foot on the floor. 30 seconds rest. We're going to do 10 rounds of this. So we're going to do 5 rounds on each side. So we're going to do right leg 30 seconds, 30 seconds rest. Left leg 30 seconds, 30 seconds rest. But guys, if we hit this fast and hard enough, the legs are starting to burn. Your core and your hip flexors will get tight as well. So if we want to work our abs, Sit-ups and crunches aren't the best exercises to do, but things like flexions and holding them core muscles are much better. So we're going to go reverse lunge with that main leg, drive right leg, 30 seconds rest, left leg, 30 seconds rest, and we're doing that 10 times. By then, again, we should be sweating, we should be out of breath. The legs should be feeling like jelly. In the morning, morning you, you should feel the muscles in your bum kind of, they're a little bit sore because we're breaking them down, we'll get them stronger, we'll get leaner, we'll get faster, and we'll start to look better as well. So. That takes 10 minutes, these take about 15 and 20, gives you time to have a wipe down, get a shower, because you don't want to be eating, looking and feeling like a mess, uh, and then it's time to eat these goujons. Remember, these goujons are low carbs, so we don't have to do the workout, but I always advise, just to get the best results, to do a good workout, we'll feel better for it as well. So guys, smash it. Right guys, we're back, uh, this is them done. I was, they were in the oven for gas mark 6, so around about 15 minutes, after we browned them off. Pile them on the plate and they're ready to eat. Today I'm actually going to serve them with a side salad and I'm going to throw some balsamic vinegar and olive oil on top. But next week I'm going to show you how to make garlic mayonnaise. So that's going to go perfect with these. These dipped in garlic mayonnaise is unbelievable. So remember, these are perfect for fat loss, perfect for losing weight, perfect for toning up, and they taste absolutely amazing too. So until next week guys, be Joe Sexton, see you soon.